So this is Pepe's Cafe in Key West, Florida. If you show them this passport, you get a free entree. And that's it. It's that easy. Seriously, I mean, all you gotta do is just order from the menu. I'll have the grilled cheese with bacon, please. Show them your passport. So this one has the... Uh, have you seen this before? And then you get your free food. Food's absolutely great. So what is this? What is this mystery passport? I traveled to one of the most well-known destinations to take advantage of a unique passport that lets me get free food at restaurants. Look at my free grilled cheese. So what is this? What is this mystery passport? Well, it's not a US passport. This is a passport from what's called the Conch Republic. The Conch Republic is a micronation of Florida and it's on the very southern tip of the Florida Keys. It's known for its cruises, its palm trees, and getting hammered on Duval Street. The Conch Republic is a humorous nickname. Everyone calls it the Key West, but they're the same thing. The Conch Republic is the Key West. So, if you want to speak like the locals, you gotta say the Conch Republic. You gotta say it right, first, sir. Conch, 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 Conch Republic. Conch. Okay, hmm, never mind. Uh, apparently, it's the Conch Republic. It's technically a micronation, yes, but you don't need any documents to enter it. It's just the Key West. The Conch Republic has some sort of partnership with the restaurant management but not all staff will recognize it. Pepe's Cafe, one of the participating restaurants, has a offer for buy one, get one free entree. Unfortunately, the waitress did not know this passport even existed. After a little bit of confusion... Oh, we got it. So, it would come with two uh, grilled cheese. Yes. You have to order two entrees, and the cheaper one would be... We made ourselves a deal. Yeah, well, I'm paying for one, but I'm getting two, right? That's what you would like? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me double check with the manager about it. Okay, okay. thank you. Management was luckily able to honor it, and I got my food. Basically, it doesn't allow you to order the same food, and it cannot be takeout. So, I did just reorder it, and they did get it fixed. So, it's not an issue, and they let me slide, but they are nice enough to accept it. And I got to enjoy my free grilled cheese sandwich. So you're probably wondering, Hamilton, how do I get this passport? Can anyone get it? Well, there's actually three passports. The first passport is the official Conch Republic passport. It's not really a real passport. It has stamp pages for uh, visas. Also got a bio page where you can fool around with it and put in silly information. It's not the type of passport that you show at airports or land border crossings, but you do submit an application and it does get signed by the Secretary of State and has an official seal. Once you upload your image and get approved, you're set. And congratulations, you are a member of the Conch Republic. The second passport is the diplomatic passport. During the time of filming, uh, this passport wasn't available yet. But if you do get it, you get to represent your own town. The third passport is the one with the list of all the restaurants where you can get free or discounted food. And sometimes even at museums and water sport activities. Here you get 50% off admission off of one museum. Here you get $20 off of a sunset dinner cruise. You get a stamp for each one you complete. But here is the most interesting page. I get stamps on the whole page. I get mystery gift. All over the passport and I couldn't find any info about the mystery gift. So I'm gonna head on over to the southernmost beach resort and hotel and figure out what that mystery prize is. But first, there is another page. I complete the whole page, um, three different restaurants, I do get a free shirt. So I'm gonna head on to that one first. If I go to each restaurant and get each one stamped, the last restaurant should be able to reward me with the free shirt. 
Then I'm going to complete the other page by eating at Southernmost Beach Resort, and then we'll find out what the mystery gift is. The first restaurant is called Geiger Key Marina. Uh, it's an open space bar and grill, but it also functions as an RV park. I really had no idea if they even knew about my passport, considering the previous restaurant also didn't know either. How you doing? Hi there. I'm good. How are you? Good. Here's, yeah, I'm ready to work. So I'll have the Caribbean jerk chicken thighs, please. And also I have the passport. So like a 10% off of $20, $20 minimum at this place. Have you seen this before? Nope. Um, I believe you though. Perfect. Okay, do you mind yeah. if I take this? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Thank you. I'll, I'll bring you right back. So apparently Geiger Key currently went under new management. The original owner who approved of that of that deal is no longer here. Luckily, they talked to management and they will honor the coupon. And so thanks to my waitress, everything is covered. I enjoyed my jerk chicken, but it was time for the next restaurant. The next stop is a restaurant that sells hogfish, which is a rare type of fish found in the Caribbean. Hi there, how's it going? My name is Eric, I'm saying Paris today. Okay, thank you so much. Beer and wine, so that's what I'm saying. What's the most popular uh, beer here? Beer? Yeah. yeah. Key lime lager. It's, uh... Okay, I like key lime, so I'll go with that. I'll have the uh, hog fish and chips. Okay. That should be it. But also, I want to ask, uh, I have this uh, passport. It says for this restaurant, I have... Uh... I, give me a second. Okay, I'll, 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 Can you like, ask uh, the boss here? Yeah, I'm just going to ask. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay. So I ran into that issue again where the server does not was not familiar with the coupon and they have to ask management about it. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I talked to the waiter and I'm approved. Looks like they do have the, the stamps and they're gonna approve me for the 10% off. Forgot to record. This food's absolutely great. Okay, so just an update, the server did get back to me and they do have the stamps for the for the passport and so I will be getting my 10% off and I am just one more away from the t-shirts. Finally, the last stop is Rustica which is known for their pastas and Neapolitan pizzas. So right now I'm at Rustica. This is the last restaurant on my checklist. They should have the offer and are aware of the passport. The other restaurant, Hogfish, said that Rustica does have the t-shirts and if not, then I can go collect it at Rustica. So it looks like I'm gonna get the Sunday gravy. It's a nightly special only on Sundays. Later, the background music got too loud and I wasn't able to remove it. Waitress came and I ordered my spaghetti. I did my usual thing and whipped out my passport. I had asked her if she had seen it and I was so happy. I was so happy that she was the first one to have seen this. It was the first out of all the restaurants I visited. So I just finished eating. Uh, I'm gonna pay the bill soon and I'm ready to collect my shirts and I will pick uh, one of two colors. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready to pick up the shirt. Okay. Okay, so she's gonna help me pick out the shirt. Price? We have two options all right Ooh, here. Uh, can we uh, lay them out? I wanna see. This is the first one. Okay. Legalized marijuana, all right. And we got the back too. Okay. And the second one. This one's long sleeve. This one's long sleeve. Was that short sleeve or long sleeve? That one is short. That one was short. That one is a medium. Okay. I think I like the black one. I want to get With the black one. Sleeve? Yeah. Because yeah. I don't have many long sleeves. Yeah. Oh, and it's got the name of the Rustica right there. Rustica Pizzeria. There we go. It's a medium. 
And medium? Yeah. Perfect. Right. I'll pick my shirt and I am ready to go with it. Just bagging it up. Hey, well, how many people have done this? Not very much. Not very much? Because no. I'm surprised that you knew about it. It's a good thing you tried. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm glad you're here to give the final prize because the other restaurants, they didn't know about it. None of them knew it. No. None of them knew about it. You have yeah. to ask the manager. It's, it happens. It happens a lot, yeah. Uh, the stamp? Oh, yeah. Let me get it. It was missing the final I'm one. I'm here, not them. So, like, okay. I'll put it right here, too. That's so... all. Just to say, so I got now you got a t shirt, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp. Okay. No. No. Now you're all set, you got your t shirt. Next time I come in here, I'll wear the shirt. Yeah. Just so, like, to protect you. <laughs> So I'm super happy. Thank you well, so I much. I hope you're gonna enjoy your tea. Okay. I finally was able to complete my passport page and get my shirt. To be honest, I was really skeptical it wouldn't work out, but I'm glad it did. Now that the t-shirt page is done, as promised, I will show you my journey with the mystery gift of the other page. So I am at the southernmost beach resort and I'm going to go ahead, go in and ask them about the passport because I do have a feeling that they don't know what it's used for. I'm worried that they might not accept the passports. After all, the major difference is that this is a hotel whereas the other locations were just restaurants. I'm pretty sure hotels are more stingy and unwilling to accept my passport offer. And fun fact, it is called the Southernmost Beach Resort because it literally is the southernmost hotel in the United States. I went inside the hotel and of course, they didn't allow it. They did not accept the offer. They run under new management and the new owner says that they had stopped doing this promo about two years ago. But on the bright side, Yes, uh, Somo rejected my offer for the final mystery gift, but each individual offer for uh, a drink at the pineapple bar was still valid. All right, so I'm at the pineapple bar. I'm gonna try to see if they have the two for one cocktail. Pineapple, two for one. Does that, does that work? Yeah. Like kind of wine, house wine. I'll just get, uh, wow. just get Bacardi mango. Cheers. Are you vlogging? I am, yeah. Why are Like a passport, and you can get like free drinks, free food from it. It's really cool. How do I get that passport? <laughs> uh, go to, go to ContraPublic.com. Okay, what is it? Conch. Oh. ContraPublic. You are saying it wrong. Fuck. Okay, so the good news is I did get two for one cocktails at the southernmost beach resort. However, when I asked about the special prize they didn't allow that because they said that um, new management took over. Um, they have stopped doing that since the past two years. I'm gonna have to find a different alternative. I have come to the realization that they will not accept my passport. But I was determined to find a solution. The plan now is to complete these new locations on a new stamp page. This page doesn't have a mystery prize but I'm just gonna make up my own mystery gift. Instead of claiming a prize for myself, since they won't even let me, I'm just gonna get a gift for somebody else. After all, I do have a VIP passport that I can get free drinks from, and I can order somebody a free drink. Okay, so I am at the 915 restaurant and bar, and I will take my strategy, and let's see how it goes. Hi there. So wanna buy a beer? Uh, a cocktail. You have to go to the bar. Okay, I'll go to the bar. I was wondering if you knew about this uh, party passport thing. So basically, 
See, there's a bunch of restaurants on this uh, passport. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Um, I will pay for the full price, but I get one cocktail for myself and then maybe the next one, can you just pass on to the next customer? All right, thank you. I'm at Bagatelle, one of the three restaurants. I'm gonna buy one drink for a customer and then I'm gonna get it stamped. Thank you. All right, I'm ready. The mango mojito, please. Uh, I do have this passport here. Have you seen this before? Um, not for four years. Awesome. Beautiful. Cheers. Thank you so much. Beauty. Another drink. Thank you. Would there would their drinks be covered for my? Uh, uh, no, for my it has drink? to be the same one. No. I have a mango mojito that I covered for. Well, that's where you, that's where you I'll take it then. Alright, you take it? I'll take it. Okay, he's taking the mango mojito. <laughs> he's saying, he on the house. He wants the free drinks? Who can deny a free drink, right? Yes, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Where do you get those? Uh, so this is from this is from the Contra Public. Yeah, uh, yeah, alright. Yeah. I'll, I'll try it next time I go. Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah. Pass it on, yeah. Originally, I had already visited First Flight Brewery earlier in the day. I'm gonna try and see if they accept the passport. Which apparently they didn't. But I came back at the end of the day to finish off this passport once and for all. And um, instead of basically trying to receive a prize, I'm going to give away a prize. Basically buy a specialty novelty gift item and gift it to somebody. Would you be interested in any free uh, gift here? Like a hat, a shirt, or anything? It'll be on me. Thank you. Bye. Oh wait, you're buying that? Yeah. yeah right. Can I just pay for you? And I wanted to give somebody an item. For sure. If you want. Trust me. Yes. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're on your way up there. I'm on my way up there, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided to get one for my brother. First flight, Key West. Nice. He's gonna be super, super excited. You're Pretty awesome. Okay. Well, All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I was thinking of maybe getting a gift for myself. I think it was this shirt. Top Gun with Tom Cruise. And I think it's a really nice shirt. I want to get it. Yeah. And that concludes the Contra Public passport journey. Lastly, I wanted to show you the special event the Contra Public hosted this week. It was a very important week for the Contra Public celebrating yes. its 41st anniversary. From April 21st to the 30th, the Conk Republic has special anniversary events this week all over the Key West. I was able to go to one of them. So today, April 23rd, is the anniversary of the Conch Republic, and there is a pool party at the Gates Hotel, and so we're gonna go check it out.